Good morning, first graders. Today we are on page 219 of your student journal, and we are going to be continuing with geometry and talking about shapes, but we are adding something new to it today. So our goal or our objective for the day says, today I will identify the defining and non-defining attributes of plain shapes. That's how I say those words defining and non-defining attributes. So let's underline those important words. So defining and non-defining, and then the big word is attributes. That's our big word today. So what do those words mean? Let's look at our vocabulary section. And what I see here is the first word says defining attributes, our first definition. It says qualities that define a shape. Okay, and define means like give a definition to a shape or let you know what that shape is. And some defining attributes are the number of sides and the number of vertices. Those are our defining attributes. So let's underline those words and circle. So those are really important. Now, because if I told you that a shape had three sides, and a shape had three vertices, you might be able to guess what shape I'm talking about. You might be able to figure out that, hmm, if it has three sides and three vertices, I bet Miss Munoz is talking about a triangle. If I told you the shape has zero sides and zero vertices, would you be able to define what shape I'm talking about? Oh, are you thinking a circle? Okay, so those that's why those are called defining attributes because they help us figure out the name of the shape. Now, what non-defining attributes are, let's circle that. Non-defining attributes, they don't define, they don't let us know. So it says attributes such as color, orientation, or overall size, those do not define the shape. What they mean by orientation is how it's on the piece of paper. So I'm gonna draw one here and we're gonna do an arrow to say what orientation is. So orientation says it's the position and it tells us here the position of the shape. So what that means is I could draw a square that's like that or I could draw the square Let's see, let's see what would happen if I tilted it so I could draw a sideways square. That's what orientation means. So it's I can move the shape. I can turn it and move it. Okay, so those don't tell us what shape it is. So if I told you the shape is yellow, are you going to be able to know what shape I'm talking about? No, right? That's not going to help you define the shape. What if I said the shape is sideways? Nope, that doesn't help you. What if I said the shape is really little? The size is little. Do we see why those are called non-defining boys and girls? Because they don't help us actually decide what the shape is. So we call those non-defining attributes. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few for you. If you wanna put down your pencil and just watch me. Here is my first shape, and hopefully we're recognizing that shape, but it also tells us in the definitions, it says identify defining and non-defining attributes. Attributes are things about the shape for my hexagon. That's what this shape is, hexagon. Okay. So we could look back at our definitions to help us. My defining attributes are the number of sides, the number of vertices, and being closed, because we know that all of our shapes are closed. So my defining attributes, I could say it's closed. I could say it has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. That would be one. And I could say it has one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. 
And if I told someone those things without showing them the shape, that would probably help them define the shape. If I said, I'm looking for a closed shape with six sides and six vertices, you'd probably be able to guess what shape it is. Okay, some non-defining attributes. Things that don't define it. Well, I could look at this to help me. So non-defining attributes are color, orientation, overall size. Okay, so for this, we could say, what color is that shape? We could say it's white. That doesn't help us know the shape. We could say for the orientation that it is maybe on its point, on its point, because it's right here. We could say that. Um, what else could we maybe say for that? We could say that for its size, we could say it's big. That's a pretty big hexagon. But none of these attributes help me figure out what the name of the shape is. Okay, let's look at another one together, boys and girls. All right, here is my shape. And it says, identify defining and non-defining attributes for the trapezoid. So our defining and non-defining attributes are things we could say about the shape for our trapezoid. Okay, so what could I say about it that would help someone know what it is? Well, for this, I could say, what could we say about it? We could say that it has one, two, three, four sides. I could say it has one, two, oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, two, three, four vertices. Um, I could say it's closed. Um, I could even say, because so someone doesn't think it's a square, I could say that, um, I could have said four not equal sides. So they would know that it's not a square. But those are all defining attributes. If I told you those things, you should be able to guess it's a square. But what are some things I could say about that shape that are non-defining, that don't help me? I could say it's little. That's a pretty little trapezoid. They had a lot of room and they made a small one. I could say that it's dark gray. I could have said dark gray or I could have said black. I could have said either one. Um, I could say it looks like it's sideways. Right? It looks like it's sideways. All of these things are attributes. They're, they're things I could say about the shape, but none of them helped me figure out what the, that shape was. Okay, so boys and girls, let's actually try some of these together. So we're on page 220, and if you want to grab your pencil and do a few of these with me. Okay, here is our first shape to do together, and it says, identify defining and non-defining attributes of a square. Okay, so let's do this one together. So what could we say about it? Well, defining attributes, we could say it has one, two, three, four sides, and we could have even said four equal. We could have even said four equal sides. And then what can we say about its vertices? One, two, three, four vertices. So those are defining because they help me figure out what shape it is. Oh, and is it a closed or open shape? It's closed. There's no open spots to get in. Okay, what can we say about the non-defining attribute? Well, the size, we could say it's, what's the, we could say it's medium, medium in size. We could say its color is white. And we could say it is, what could we say about it, how it's, its orientation? Is it, did they put it straight or is it, it's on its side? So we could say like sideways. So this is its size, its color, and its orientation, 
and none of those help us figure out the name of the shape. So they, they non-defining, they don't define, where our defining help us figure out what this shape is. Okay, let's try another one together. Okay, this one says, identify defining and non-defining attributes of a rectangle. Okay, so things that help me figure out the name of it are one, two, three, four sides. And we could have even said not equal. And then how many vertices? One, two, three, four vertices. And it's a closed shape. Things that don't help us figure out the name of the shape that are non-defining would be its size. So I think this one's kind of small. Its color, we could say it's black. And um, its position. So this one is positioned regular. It's not, they didn't tilt it, it's not sideways. It's, we could say it's straight, maybe. But none of those words or those attributes help us figure out the name of the shape. So that's why we call those non-defining. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you are going to be turning the page and you have two to try today on your own. Have a nice day. Bye.